Hello. Hi. I turned the mic on per meat's request so that you could hear us eat apples like horses. But that's what we're doing. <laughs> Star spawn. Um, what are we doing? Um, we're playing some itchio games. Itchio. So our son says, "Eat apples like horses, but don't eat horse apples." Is that a thing? Is a horse apple a thing? What's a horse apple? Do you know what a horse apple is? Shit, I assume. Horse. Apple, I'm Googling it. Oh, it's a real thing? When I Google that, I'm getting a thing called an Osage Orange. I figured a horse apple was similar to a cow pie, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's the first game you're going to play? I frog got. I frog got. Oh, there's a frog facts button. There is. Well, can we learn a frog fact? Notable member of the amphibian group, frogs are primarily harmless. Okay. Diverse in their distribution, frog species can be found in tropical or subarctic areas of the world and outer space. Is that one true? I mean, I don't know why they'd lie. As with all other amphibians, frogs are cold-blooded, which means they are off the chain. Okay. I mean, it says true frog facts up here, by the way, so... It's true. Stash. Oh, you can give him a little mustache. Hey. Are you going to sit here in the dark all day? Yeah, usually. Well, whatever floats your goat. Can you can you look around? Oh shit! What was that? Ugh. I wonder if our neighbor Crazy Dave microwaved his phone again. You should probably go check it out. But don't forget. You gotta use wasad to walk around and keep an eye on your crosshair. When it lights up red, you can use E to interact with stuff. Come back and tell me what happened after you find out. I used to work with a guy named Crazy Dave. Mm. We're still friends with him, right? <laughs> Different Dave. <laughs> hey. Go check out. I think it came from upstairs. Okay. Santiago is his name. So are you a frog right now? I don't know. Maybe I get turned into a frog. What is this? Notebooks. A little block. It's basically amnesia. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta open all the drawers, you gotta find the uh, the lantern oil, or the frog oil in this case, I guess. But through, well, actually, no, this is laundry room. Yeah. 
We got candles in here. Yeah, we got a boarded up something. Those we? are towels. Oh, yeah, that's a towel radiator. My bad. I'm not used to seeing those. They're not common here. Buy some men and mushrooms. Can't open all the cabinets. Chekhov's butcher knife. I don't think I can pick anything up right now, but. Starts one says, can you beat this game in 10 minutes? I don't know. Christmas presents. Wait, where is our neighbor? I don't know, because I thought the dude told me to go upstairs. Yeah. Spoke too soon, Star, Fro Star Swan. There's a frog. Star Swan was disappointed by the lack of frogs. Hey, Lord, I'll voice the frog. Let me swallow this apple. <clears throat> Skyrim reference, seriously? Shh, that's not important. I know what I look like, but I'm not actually a frog. I'm an all-powerful wizard. My name's Diego. But I don't remember how I turned into a frog. Like, amnesia or something? Basically, I forgot. Is that a frog pun? If I said no, would you believe me? No. Yikes. So, anyways. Like, five minutes ago, I was a cool wizard. But then I messed up a spell I was casting, and I guess I turned into a frog. In your house? Uh, I have zero memories of what happened, and zero idea how to fix this. Can you help me out here? Yeah. Awesome. Since I need to get back to my human form, do you happen to know anything about transformation potions? Mm, absolutely. I've played Wizard 101 before. Absolutely not. I haven't played Wizard 101, so absolutely not. Perfect. I have you me something up, even though I don't remember what I need exactly. I do remember some of the ingredients vaguely. For example... First ingredient is something sweet. I literally just told you not to trust me with this. Awesome. You need to go around your house and find me ingredients. Bring them back here to my cauldron when you found it. So, what are you waiting for? Go find me something sweet. You better hop to it. So he's got his fucking wizard staff and his hat over here. And got all this mystical shit. So I guess go to the kitchen? That's where I would assume. That's highlighting some shit. Uh oh. What is that? Oh! Donut. A little bedside donut.
That must have been the correct ingredient. Look, my magic's already coming back. It was hard not to eat that. Yo, I feel that in my soul. I saw you throw it in and wanted to sneak a quick bite myself. But like, being a frog and all, I thought it would be weird. Anyway, next I need something cold. I'll be here when you find it. Hmm. Photo of my ex. Go downstairs and see what we got. Ice. I mean, that's clearly a candle. Yeah. Candle. So I guess there are wrong options. Yeah, like we could sabotage them, maybe. Yeah. But why would you want to sabotage them? Maybe he never pays, or never contributes to rent. Wow! Look at you go. I didn't expect you to be so obedient. I literally only want you out of my house as soon as possible. Wonderful enthusiasm. Next, I need something electronic. You know where to find me when you're done. PC Tower. Why is that highlighted red? I don't know. Because there's a TV down there and there's a tree. So we know the tree's not electronic. Well, the TV should be. Yeah, but I just don't know why the tower is highlighted red. I'm not sure. It's not the correct room. Can I talk to you? So, just an observation. You can make a whole potion for a frog you don't know, but you can't do the dishes. <laughs> Shaking my head. I don't even have a plate to eat my pizza off of. I just realized this dude is a kiwi. Yeah, he's a kiwi bird, but also he's a kiwi fruit. Also, he's eating fucking pizza. I wish I had pizza. Soon. Yeah, yeah, it is gonna be pizza time this month. That thing was huge. You couldn't have found literally anything smaller. No. Uh, well, never mind. I was trying to say no. Haha, <laughs> man. Whatever you say. No pain, no gain. Am I right? With that, we only need two more ingredients. I'm going to miss you after you're gone. Gone like when this is finished. Not like dead gone. That would be crazy. Lol. <laughs> For this next item, I need something green. I just want to throw him in there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's green. Nothing green upstairs. I'm gonna fucking have a heart attack and die before I even finish this walking up and down these damn Dude. stairs. Pear. Pear? Pear oh, what? no, not Kiwi. Oh, Santiago. His name's Santiago. There was something else in there. What's that? An orange. An orange is not green. I don't have a front door. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Okay, there it is. I couldn't see it past the other ones. Dude, I love pears. How did you know? Oh, I am feeling woozy. I got the chromatic aberration in my eyes. Oh, yeah. I don't feel good. What's going on? Ah, uh, you've got to be my most favorite human I've ever, I mean, spent time with before. Out of all of them, you're definitely my favorite. She just said tricked. What's going on? All I need is one last ingredient. I need, drum roll please, something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. 
Just bring me back something sharp, and this will all be over soon. So I know there's that butcher knife down there. Yeah. Oh. Couldn't figure out what the, that noise was, but it was the table. Tirith. Tirith, Tirith. Tirith! Tirith says, that is a frog. His name is Diego. His name is Diego. And he is not really a frog, he's really a wizard. I think he might be trying to kill me, too. He might be trying to kill us. Or but... take my body, I don't know. If a frog wanted your body... Not sexually, <laughs> but... You know. Would you deny it? Ah, ah, ah! Ha, ha, ha! Oh, man, you made this way too easy for me. Anyway, probably want to brace for the fall. It'd be a shame if my dinner got scuffed up. Truth is... Mm. The game was rigged from the start. Mm -hmm. A Fallout New Vegas reference. Oh, oh, we got ending one of three. We were eaten by the frog. Should I try the sabotage one? It's pretty quick. I'm yeah, gonna try it. it. Here it says, if you want my body... If you think I'm froggy... <laughs> What is that? It's just an old song. I don't know it now, but um, I have cousins who I spent a lot of time with who were like 10 years older than me. Yeah. So like, you know, they knew more about the MTV stuff and everything. Uh, yeah. And they sang it a lot. So as a, like a little kid, my mom says I would go around singing it. Oh my God. Hold on, I'm getting deja vu. Hey, Star Swan, thanks for stopping in while you could. We will see you soon, hopefully. Have a good night. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> okay, so it just starts you back over with the frog. He wants something sweet again, so let's give him something. Yeah, what is that downstairs? We didn't even go downstairs last time. This is cake, so no, he's not getting that. This is also cake. Everything's sweet. Well, Donut. I guess you don't have any reason to not trust him at the moment. So maybe... No, I feel like you gotta load it up with the... Uh... I don't know. This one's red. I wonder why. I don't know. I mean, they're all sweet. None of them are not sweet, so I guess it don't matter. That must have been the correct ingredient. Look, my magic's already coming back. Yeah, ask him why the. Op oh, shit. He's just repeating all the same shit. All right, now he needs something cold. So I should give him a candy. Yeah, yeah, I think so. doing that's not cold sorry it was an accident oh since this is your first mistake it's probably fine but don't do that again next i need something electronic he's changing color it should be a lot harder for you to mess this one up I say about messing up my potion better question what on earth is happening right now just normal potion making side effects the fumes and stuff yeah we only need two more ingredients go fetch me something green or else music's changing 
getting really dark, too. Hey, you've altered my vision. I can't tell if it's green or not. How hard is it to follow my simple instructions? <laughs> very hard. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's too late. All I need is one last ingredient. And all I need is something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. Just bring me back something sharp. And this will all be over soon. There's toast down there I can take yeah. instead of the knife. Like a piece of bread. That's the knife. That's toast. I guess it's only the three. Mmm, toast. Ooh, it's here with post and gnomes in chat. What? It's a potion in the. Oh, frog the stuff world. is different. That's interesting. In the frog world. Uh -huh. Hey! What have you done? At well, least pitching a little frog fit. You've ruined my potion! I'll show you what happens to those who try to escape. Shoot me with a little cap gun. Hey, where did you go? Oh, I see. You want to play hide and seek? Well, ready or not. Uh-oh. Here I come! Ah, oh, shit. We got a spell book. Okay. So I need a saw, a spoon, a jack-in-the-box, and a deer to get a key. Are you fucking really coming after me while I'm breeding, you asshole? Who is Blair Witch shit? Four more go missing. The count rises to 18 people missing since last April. From the town of Harvester. Damn. Is that that game? Yeah. Um. Okay. It didn't go away the first time I hit escape. You know there was a closet somewhere. Here. I can't open it now, so... Is there actually a hiding mechanic? Something is very wrong. I followed his instructions, but... The walls the wall are moving. He oh. asked me for something sharp. I read the spell book. There is no recipe that calls for something sharp. Help! I fear my life is in danger, and if you're reading this, you are too! shut behind you in this world. Frog world. Frog world. Ooh, we got spooky Minecraft painting. Ain't that that rapper who died? Frog world. I don't get that joke. <laughs> the rapper. Juice world. Oh. Um. These spooky textures. Spooky, spooky textures. What are we looking for? I, I don't know. It said some shit in that book. But I haven't really seen anything other than notes that I can interact with. Door is locked. Okay, so yeah, I do need a key. It said something about a deer and a saw. What's up? My mouse pad. 
entity Dream Eater refers to himself as Diego. Appearance is a blank. It lures victims into a dreamlike state, giving them a false sense of happiness and security. In this state, it should appear to victims as a small frog-like amphibian sending them on small quests. In reality, it is redacted. If victims obey the Dream Eater, then the entity can successfully devour the victim's soul and body, leaving no physical trace behind. However, if victims disobey the Dream Eater, the entity cannot control its rage and will show its true form. To, pa to pacify the Dream Eater, one has to redact it. Contact with Dream Eater is highly limited. This is a Class S entity and should no, under no circumstances be interacted with by unprotected personnel. Oh, there's a human brain. Dream Eater is what, um... You need that ladle. In the, in the potion. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I put the shit in the potion. You're... What did it go? Yeah, it's not a spoon, it's a ladle. I don't want to do one of these stupid ass run from a monster games. So, okay, let's look again. I need. I got the ladle. I need a reindeer, a saw, and a jack in the box. Call or uh, see, it says where's Colin with the uh, it's a it's a fake puzzle bit. Hey, is there something? Yeah, what is that? It's the feather. Oh, Broxess, come out from wherever you are. I don't. There was no hide mechanic. What am I supposed to do? Can you crouch? I can't turn my light off. Yeah, I think the, the feather on the texture, the texture on the feather is just fucked up. Oh, okay. It's like, I can't, can't pick it up. Yeah. Like it doesn't say anything if I highlight it. So we need a soul and a reindeer? Let's look again up here. Lots of knives. What's that note already read? Oh, there's the saw. Bone saw is ready! I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Close that door. In case he comes back. What are we throbbing for? Throbbing for gristle. Is that just a new soundtrack element, or yeah. is that meaningful? Meaningful? No, no. Yeah, he's here. There might be his footsteps. I don't know. It's very loud and steady. Also, like in the headphones, it doesn't seem to be coming from a particular mm -hmm. place. And his breathing was coming from <clears throat> a direction. So maybe... You can't open shit now. Like you could in the other yeah. version, but you can't. I just want to double and triple check in here. Love these uh, pictures on the wall. Okay, let's try down here again. It's the kitchen. I 
brain for dinner. Just a note that I've already looked at. Brain for dinner. Can't jump. Can't open this. Close that door. What if he heard you? What is what is that? It just kind of looks like a skull. I think there's there's a note. Oh, there's the Jack in the Box. Entity Remora. Entity named Remora is a relatively harmless entity. It refers to itself as Santiago and prefers the company of other entities. So that's the kiwi bird. Its appearance is that of a large floating mass of organics. With diagnostics have, when diagnostics are run, the organic matter, the breakdown comes back as redacted and redacted. When it comes to remorse preferences on other entities, there are a handful that it has been seen with. However, it overall seems to prefer the company of the dream eater the most. It escapes its enclosure regularly to voluntarily break into dream eater's enclosure. It has been noted that Remora will insert itself into the minds of Dream Eater's victims. It has the ability to interact, but does not appear to harm the victims. While inside the hypnosis, Remora is often given the appearance of a kiwi-colored kiwi bird. We find this to be because of redacted. It makes you stand up sometimes. Oh, okay, never mind. That was a glitch. Am I going to be able to carry this? is this? I didn't see anything that looked like this. I've been through most of the house at this point. I guess that just speeds up the closer you get to finishing the potion. Yeah. I just, like, we, we heard him so clearly that one time. I don't understand what that... I wonder if he's even in the game. That's what I'm thinking, is like, is he there? Like, is it just random? Just read. Look in the corner right here. What is that? I think it's just a pile of rags okay. or clothes or something. Maybe check the kitchen again? Yeah, I don't see shit. I mean, I don't see shit. <laughs> Just full stop. I guess there's nothing in that cage. I 
Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time seeing this. Yeah, it's very difficult to uh, make stuff out here. can't open these drawers. Yeah, I'm just yeah. double checking. There doesn't seem to be anything under the bed. G -g -g Ghost Max is here. What's up, Ghost Max? How you doing? I forgot to put this in the game. That's not in the tub. I, I don't see anything, do you? I, I haven't yet, no. That's the name of the game tier. It's called I Frog God. This is the spell room again. Look at big ass shoes down there. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to look at shit closely enough that it just highlights it to pick up, even if I'm not aware that it's what I'm looking for, you know? Yeah. Ghost Max doing alright. How are we? How are you, Rico? I'm fine. What'd you work on today? Uh, nothing. You did uh, some knitting, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did like one or two rows of knitting. I just, I don't know. I'm antsy today for some reason. I couldn't focus on anything. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I don't feel miserable or anything. It was just really annoying more than anything. Oh, I can jump. I couldn't jump when I tried to jump before. Uh, I think I'm doing okay today. Kind of a slower work day. Good trap. Wasn't a lot going on. Okay, if I were reindeer in a disgusting frog wizard's house. Uh oh. Alright, you got the key. Ghost Max is setting up a new PC to take over streaming duties. That's fucking rad. It's not doing the... the distance thing again. Yeah, just get out of here. Oh, shit. Are you controlling this? No. Nah. Oh, oh. You escape. <clears throat> so it looked like there was a third ending, but you would have to do it in the in the frog in the, or in the dream world. Because mm -hmm. it was toast, fire. Do you remember what else? No. Okay. I mean, that's 30 minutes, so I would rather move on yeah. to a different game. This was this person's first game. That was pretty good for first game. I like that. <clears throat> and, yeah...
So, like, I downloaded all the stuff that you wanted me to download. Yeah, plus this one, which I thought about downloading, but then I'm like, that's not long enough, but I think I'll probably play it. We need to test this this month. Okay, I want to play this. This all is right. what I want to play. And then, you know, you'll have to do studio, yeah, yeah, yeah. studio mode and OBS. Looks like it's already capturing the game music somehow, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, if you want to... Yeah, I'll transition, then I'll switch out of studio yeah, mode, because yeah. I know being in studio mode fucks up the... Uh... Oh, this is a two-player game! Well, how would we play two-player? I don't know. I'll just do one player. Wait, what, 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 what is this? You make a friend. Do I have to... How do I pan? Uh, arrow keys? No. Were there controls? Not really, I guess. drag when I drag with the right this is what it does what about middle mouse wheel nah, middle mouse is just zoom in and out but like if you... oh I'm sorry yeah like... left click never does anything in, oh, in yeah. 3d viewing shit so I did not expect it to do anything so is this like uh spore but for skeletons Oh, I'd love to see your PC build, Ghost Max. Do you do Discord, Ghost Max? Because we have a Discord. If you would be interested in, in posting stuff there. Uh -huh. how, many, how many ribs are you going to give this guy? Uh -huh. That's about all I can fit unless I give him another spine. Oh, no, not there. I don't want a spine on a spine. How do I get... No. Yo, dog, we heard you like spines. No! Oh, so we I can move these pumpkins Spine around. on your spine. There he goes. I need, I need my menu back, please. Oh. <laughs> Tear said that's a thick-ass spine. Ooh, the dungeon. Hell! <laughs> I like the graveyard. There it is, okay. Aged. Oh, wait. They can make them oh, bloody. Bloody bones. Can I mix and match colors? Oh. Wait, no, that's rotation. There's a link to the Discord if anybody is interested. <laughs> Ghostback says it's got ribs to spare. Like spare ribs. Uh huh. Here's how I can give it more ribs. Oh, you got a spine coming off of the spine? Wait, can I not put ribs on this second spine? Uh, no, Tirith, you're not allowed in the Discord, actually. That's him.
You like this, uh, you like this music? Yeah. <clears throat> I have had to use so many fucking 3D programs in the last week. That I am just fucking losing my mind trying to remember what I need to be using for shit to move. Tirith has bribed us with a uh, a single bit to join the Discord. So, what do you do with these guys? He party. Skeleton party. Dead man's party. Just as Danny Elfman foretold. It's the dead man's party. <laughs> Alright. See? Yo! Look at him. Oh, he's not doing okay. Why Why did he fall over like that? Because he doesn't have a soul to animate him. Can I start over? Like, how do I start over? Yeah, did you put feet on him? I did. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you did. Maybe uh, he needs a vestigial spine, like a tail, that'll... Are you giving him a big... Uh... No, I'm giving him a third leg, you uh, pervert. Okay, I thought that was like a big dong. He's obviously not balanced, so I was going to give him a third leg. Are we developing the, the peak human design? Oh, 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 here he goes. That third set of ribs is really not working out for him. There. Well, I don't know how to get rid of him, so he stuck with him. I knocked one of these pumpkins around earlier. I'm not sure how. I know. I wish you could, like, put a pumpkin on his head. Yeah, but I can't take the pumpkin. I don't want the skull. I'm not Danzig. Anti-Danzig. Uh, maybe another leg? Like, is he trying to ambulate when you when you click the skull down there? I guess. I don't know. Can you give him, like, a spider leg situation where they're, like, sticking out? He's inscrutable. The fuck does that mean? I don't know what he wants. I can't screw him. You just gotta give him legs until he walks. Right? I actually think that fourth leg is doing worse. Yeah, he seems to be getting a little tangled up with it. But again, I don't know how to get rid of him. So. Uh, what is that X skull thing over there? Okay, doing? it wasn't letting me click things before. I would try to click things, oh. and it was like, nope. Okay, so let's let's just start over. I have a vision. I wish we could give him a solid uh, rib cage plate, like a ultra, like a an ultramarine space marine from yeah. 40k. Tirith wants to know what the point of this is. What's the point of anything, Tirith? Fuck your life. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> what is up, Nathan? How are you? What 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 is your vision here? Oh. Here we go. Is that what I want? That's certainly not it, so. quite long enough. Oh wait, no, I see. I see why. I think 
I still need this. Let's just pop that on there. Are you putting hands on his feet? I wish I could copy. Just do that again. <clears throat> it's not where you go. Why has he got like a sideways rib cage? Is that right? No. I just can't see. Oh, it's here. It's no. Here it said Dr. Pepper and banana flavor kind of goes hard together. Just FYI. That sounds terrible. Can you get a banana soda? I'm sure somebody's made a banana soda. I don't think that would be very good. Alright, I guess I've already made my bet on that front. <clears throat> I'm not opposed to an artificial banana flavor. You know what's really good? Uh, banana popsicles. <clears throat> Inzan. Inzan says banana soda is great. <clears throat> I would try it. I just, I don't know. I don't know how, like in my mind, it's not something that would work, but maybe it would. What did we watch somebody eat today? It was like a Ramune flavored whipped cream. Yeah, yeah, it was... A Japanese vending machine video and they were eating like whipped cream that was soda flavored and they said it was carbonated I don't know that's too far back I don't want that there I want it up here no, uh, not back there Nathan this is a little uh, like indie game called bone to pick uh, I think it's just like an engine where you're making a skeleton man and trying to... I don't know. I think he's like, like you're trying to get him to walk or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it's just a dumb little uh, spooky October game. We were uh, we were trying some, some random demos and indie games out on Itch.io, which is like a little uh, game publishing program. The people use. It's hard for me to tell which one of these. Oh yeah, like it's uh, he's a he's a jumbled mess of like access points. Speaking of October, how's everybody's October going? Anybody watched anything spooky or done anything fun? I will ask this every day. Okay. Uh, no, Nathan, I did not play Resident Evil 4 yet. Okay, well, he didn't like that. I think it's my best work yet, but he's being a real fucking party pooper about it. I mean, I think he's cool, but I guess he's like top heavy. Can you can you move the skull back on the on the uh, the spine? Tirith has been working, and that is spooky and a nightmare. That is true. Also, Tirith wants this as an avatar for VR. <clears throat> oh, see, now he's standing up. Look at this. No, that's oh, about the oh, same. No, and he's falling over again. Boop. Maybe he needs more skulls. I 
I agree, Nathan. For uh, Halloween, for a truly terrifying Halloween experience, we should go back to uh, God of War One and get st get stuck in fucking awful uh, puzzles again. How about this, does three skulls do it for you? Oh, he's just too front heavy. What if we had evolved an ass skull? Yeah. Yeah, Tirith's right. He's on a slope, so that's not doing him any favors. Well, I can't do anything about that. Did you notice that the moon is a big skull mm -hmm. in the background? I could put him in the dungan. Put him oh yeah, put him in the dungan. See now Dungan he's, donut. Now he's doing better. He's standing. Anyhow, you want to make one or you want to move on? No, we can move on. We can move on. I don't know how to... Okay, there we go. I love that this had a two-player option. Like, what if you just both <laughs> make stupid skeletons that don't do anything? This is another quick one. How about I play that? Yeah, hell yeah. <sighs> That's a small screen. Oh no. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Capture it and see what happens. I don't know. I do. No, do do 1776. You, you didn't. Okay, it's that's... a square thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess do 999 by 999. This is a weird one to capture. And then you'll just have to center yeah. it, uh, which just hit Control D. There you go. Control these nuts. Control these nuts. Uh. I'd rather have it like this so yeah. I don't accidentally click anything in OBS. Alright, so we got bad flesh. So yeah, the screen is like two like It's two ninety six by two ninety six. Yeah, two ninety six by two ninety six on our screen. <laughs> and I don't have a way to make it bigger, so Wake up, child. It is time. The bodies are ready. Do not eat bad flesh. Nathan says, eat the hand. Eat, eat just the hand. Well, there's the shit on the hand, so I'm assuming if it has that red shit grow growing off of it, you're not supposed to eat it. You are full. <clears throat> Time to rest your stomach. Sleep. Oh, 
I know you are strong. Soon you will see the truth. More bodies are ready. Yeah, yeah, I think that I think that's blood. Do not eat bad flesh. Oh no, a lot of this looks pretty bad. Yeah, I think I think you can eat it until it's bloody is the thing. <clears throat> Is this okay? I guess so. It is important to clean the brain of the insects. Yeah, I would say so. Clean your brain. Clean your brain, please. Folks, clean your brain. Shit. This is kind of like body horror warrior wear. Mmm, your brain is clean. Your breath is life. Cleanse yourself. Insects gather. Clean your lungs. <clears throat> How did you ever get to be so stupid? <laughs> Your lungs are clean. <clears throat> oh, you look fucked up, bud. You doing okay? Do you see it now? You are almost ready. Please. Feed on the bad flesh. Well, I thought I was explicitly told not to. Uh-oh. Eyeballs now. <laughs> Dude's getting fucked up. Please, Father, consume us all. We beg. Consume his flesh. Oh, hell yeah. My child, you have grown. Your flesh is. Divine. Divine. Now is the time. Consume me. Eat something. Thank you. This is like the, uh, the fleshed version of the skeleton you just made. Yeah. You got all these limbs and shit. <clears throat> Your belly is full. Sleep. Sleep. 
It is done. You are like us. Now look. Look in the mirror. Thanks for playing. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Love it. <clears throat> okay. No, no, we didn't play any of the other God of War games. Oh, I wanted to play this. Oh, but there's this. Play them both. Yeah, I was just trying to decide which one I do want to do first. I think I'll do this one first. Why? 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 Oh, I don't know. Uh... No, stop it. Go to options and see if it can full screen. There you go. <laughs> Game over, man. It's game over. My brain does not want to work tonight. <laughs> What is this now? Regular house renovation. Regular house renovation. It's like house flipper? Yeah. Hey, when does the new house flipper game come out? December. Why do I even bring this asbestos gear? It's uncomfortable. You do not need asbestos gear. Pick a material. <clears throat> is this for the exterior or the interior? Um... I don't know. Maybe you can put it anywhere. I think it might be the floor, because that's what's highlighting here. <clears throat> so let's go with this. It's Ooh. nice and disorienting. I think it might be four. Or not. It's five. can't put it under there. I'm gonna do a shit job. Do we really like old games? Oh uh, yeah, like I like retro stuff. Um, I guess it depends on what kind of game it is at the end of the day. Check the sockets. Check the sockets. Don't tell me how to do my job. Who's this little guy? Is that a beaver? Maybe. Just the picture. That's the wall. <clears throat> so that'll be four. <clears throat> Fix the floor. Fix the fucking floor, idiot. And vacuum it up. Plus, you gotta put down your tiles and stuff. You put the same tiles in every room? Yeah, fuck it. I'm not even putting it under the furniture, so <clears throat> this is not a good job. Well, the f okay. There's a socket right here that you can fix. Can't put the shit down until I... <clears throat> is this horror? No, this is just home renovation. You can tell by the oppressively Where happy music. Dead? 
How do you like that sound effect? Oh, I hate it. <clears throat> that wasn't there before. Yeah, I don't think any of this was here before. <laughs> Oh, did like a whole other room open up? I think so. <laughs> Gonna do a good job. Or they'll refuse to pay me, you know? Right, right. Didn't tile our haunted <laughs> dungeon? Haunted dungeon. Oh, he's turning into a little skull now. A black goo on the floor in here, but I guess it's okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just thought about the pricing on somebody tiling your endless haunted hallway. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at a pretty big job here. <laughs> Charged by the hour, so. <clears throat> oh, my. <clears throat> There's some holes in the wall back here in this hallway. Oh, I didn't even see those. <clears throat> they blend into the fucking thing. <clears throat> the Conjuring renovation. <laughs> it's a new Conjuring movie this year, the the Nun too. Oh yeah, so you know it'll be dog shit because the Nun one wasn't good. It was not. I can't wait to watch it though. Okay, I guess that's everything. Clean the dirt. Oh yeah, vacuum that skull right up. <clears throat> Check the socket. Just, that's how you fix a socket. You jam your screwdriver right the fuck in there. <clears throat> I don't know enough about electricity and uh, electrician work to deny that, so I'm going to say yes. Yeah, Music's uh, picking up pace here a little bit. Yeah, vacuum that skull right up. Not even sure what that's the skull of, but you know, it's fine. Don't worry Clear about the it. Debris. Check the socket. Look at this nice family portrait. Which makes sense the brick texture on the ceiling is an odd choice. <laughs> you know, it's not 
it's not the kind of interior design that one would assume. Yeah, you gotta... Interior design should really keep them guessing. You gotta keep them guessing. You don't want anyone to ever feel relaxed in a house. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep them anxious really so they want, don't stay too long. You really want your house to exude an evil architecture. Alright, we'll change the fucking texture up since you guys are fucking bitching. I like this, this Moroccan tile. Some visions of uh, sugar plums. Sugar plums. I believe a burning house. I mean, that'll just cost you extra if you want me to repair some fire damage. Oh, yeah. How can you be freaked out or sad with a tile this fucking bright and happy? <clears throat> I would be so mad if I had to stare at this all day. Tear stepped away. Is this haunted house flipper? No, this is regular home renovation. Nothing haunted here at all. Regular home renovation. Fix the light sockets. You lay down support tiling. You vacuum up the bones. The goo. And the goo. It's completely normal. Okay. Uh, don't worry about that. Screamer? What? What did that say? Uh, I'm not sure. How do you fix that? Do you just patch that up? Don't you hate it when there's a hole in your wall and you can see the meat behind it? There you go. Perfectly fine. Mm. Now, there is some kind of uh, debris raining from this endless ceiling here. Thier says that she wishes that she had a hole in the wall and she could see you behind it. Me. <laughs> <laughs> like a glory hole. <laughs> it's a friendship hole. <laughs> a little putty and the friendship to hell is closed. You know, I feel like a home renovation show is the perfect ambulance for a found footage horror film, to be honest with you. Don't you think that would be fucking dope? Yeah, because... Like, get into some House of Leaves kind I of shit? I feel like that's gotta be a short in one of these million anthologies they do. Like, it's Yeah, a... I, somebody has to have done it already, but we just haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But... It's just like, you know, well, we've renovated the upstairs, but what you really want to see is the downstairs, and it's got, like, you know, demons and shit fly. It's got, like, the well that's under the house in um, Amityville. Oh, yeah. Here it says it's the meat hole. The meatus. The meatus. That's what the meat hole is. That's true. What do you, what do you think about the soundtrack? getting proper spooky. It's nice. I like it. Um... Oh, okay. I keep wanting to switch with the wheel but that's not allowed in this game. Tear says these are like four tiles you get at a Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm. Dollar Tree house renovation. Oh, the textures are starting to get a little uh, crooked here. Got some skulls to vacuum up there. Don't want to fall behind on the tiling. Oh no. You gotta keep up with that tiling.
Oh, oh, there's an ominous red mist up here. And they didn't disclose it when they hired me. You're legally supposed to disclose any ominous mists. Got a hole behind you here. There you go. Uh, looks like we got a change of texture here. What what goes on here? Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, this is just cobblestone. Cut him with my plaster knife. Your carelessness costs lives, and you learned nothing. That's me, baby. The bitch that never learns. Your business was safe, but that family was not. Until time ends. Oh, endless mode. Oh, you can play endless mode now. So I assume that just keeps procedurally adding to the house? I, I guess so. I mean... Well, I think that's a fun little game. We don't know how to get out of the game, though. Press Alt-Tab. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just close it manually. But that's what this is, you know. Satanic black magic. Sick shit. It's true. <laughs> All right, now let's try this other one I was looking at. Ghostmax says that in the state of New York, you do not have to disclose if a house is haunted. Uh, we learned <laughs> we, we learned recently that in the state of Alabama, you don't have to disclose if someone has recently died in a house. <laughs> I've done this like five times now and I keep just hovering going, what am I supposed to look for? What am I supposed to look for? Oh, they don't have to do that in New York either. Is this not working or do I just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Try to switch it off of this and try it again. Yeah, it's not capturing anything. So I gotta do the display, stupid shit, <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, you can try that. Yeah. Move it down, yeah. Alright, let's see if that worked. Alright, there we go. The Necronom icon. Look, I found at that old trinket store. I could not believe what was on the cover. Symbols in identical to those that appeared in my dream. It wasn't just any other dream. It was vivid. Visions, odd shapes I've never seen before, etched deep into my memories. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there were voices whispering in an eldritch tongue beyond my comprehension. The feeling of a presence that lurked beyond the thin veil of reality, its grasp reached through and tugged at the strings of my thoughts as my mind slowly unraveled. What did it all mean? My fascination soon turned into desperation. Will this book contain what I've been searching for? This may be the answer, the purpose of life I've been seeking for since moving to this new city two months ago. The name of this book? The Necronom Akan.
Complete the rituals. Book contains a collection of eldritch rituals used to contact ancient beings of another world. The ancient ones possess powers unfathomable by a meek human mind. Perform these dark spells at your own peril. Okay, so conjure eldritch flame. Good place to start. Call forth the mystical flame that connects this world with the realm of the ancient ones. Ritual instructions. Wear a ritual hat. Light the candles around the magic circle. Chant the following. One, five, six. Enter. Cultist hot tip. Use delete to delete a chant. Alright, so you gotta go get an amulet. You gotta light some candles around the circle. And you gotta do a chant. <clears throat> okay, it's that simple. Candles. There's, oh. there's your amulet. Look oh. at me. Oh, yeah. I can sanitize my hands probably a good idea right yeah i would think so should i wear my mask well you're just summoning flames right now so i don't think i don't think you need okay. the mask but if you start summoning creatures you want to protect you yourself and them so then i would put the mask on it's working a green flame appeared looks like i'll need to prepare a few extra things for the next ritual <clears throat> All right, suppress the madness. Recover some of your sanity. So I don't know. Like, there's nothing. But I need to remember that probably, right? It's four, two, one. Four, two, one. Yeah. So I guess you got your sanity meter up in the corner. And oh, it, it's, it is ticking down. It huh? is dropping. So yeah, just keep that in mind and replenish it every so often. I guess. You gotta look in the mirror to do it. Is that what it said? View your reflection and chant the following. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> Savor the depths. Reach into the further depths of your mind. Cleanse your hands. Prepare ingredients. Add them to the pot. Okay, let's... Prepare two ingredients with the ritual knife. Add them to the pot. Okay, let's do the first steps. Cleanse hands. No, you stirred the pot. No, no. I think I may have fucked up. Stir pot twice, add seasoning. Where's the seasoning? Oh. Wait for it to boil. And then six one five what? Six one five three. What was the spell? Four two one. Four two one. I might as well top myself off. Okay, so this is boiling now. Uh, uh maybe. Six one five three. Six one five three. Yeah, I don't know. It should have bubbles. I would think so, but maybe that's just the animation they chose. Try it. <laughs> See, I don't know if it wasn't boiling. Or... I think I stirred it yeah. accidentally. Okay, how do I start over? I need to start over. Uh, what's that thing up in the corner? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's look at this again. Cleanse your hands, prepare two ingredients, and put them in the pot. Okay. Poor jet. Uh -huh. oh. Stir twice. One, two. Okay. Add seasoning once. Wait for boil. Here, this found a Zillow article on uh, what you need to know if you're selling a haunted house. Mm. This was six one five three. 
otherworldly vegetable skewers. What an unusual ritual. What did I just create? I should move on to the next page. Alright. Face your nightmares. Don't worry, it's not real, but don't let it get too close, though. From this point on, odd visions are not uncommon. It is all in your mind. Nightmares will start stalking you while you lo are looking away. Drive them away with the spell. When it is close enough, look directly at it and chant two, six, four. Okay. Change of taste. Open up your mind. Embrace the change. Ritual instructions. Cleanse hand. Prepare one ingredient and add it to the pot. Season once. Repeat steps two and three of the previous ritual. So prepare two ingredients and stir twice. Wait for the pot to boil. Chant one, two, one, five, three. One, two, one, five, three. Okay. Sign. Oh, fuck. What was the thing? I forgot. No idea. <laughs> Look it up and I'll I'll write it down. It's two six four. Two six four. Okay. Okay, so let's okay, cleanse your hands, prepare one ingredient. Season. And then it says, repeat steps two and three of the previous ritual. Wear a mask for this ritual. Oh. Oh, thank you, Enzo. We did not see that. <laughs> did you clean your hands? I did. Okay. <clears throat> Oh yeah, useless knowledge is amazing, Tira. You know, you know we love some useless knowledge. It was... Do not wear the amulet. Sick. <laughs> Picky ass. <laughs> Make sure we re read these instructions thoroughly next time. This is what baking's actually like, though. Two, six, four. That's oh, gone. Did Colin! I, God damn it, did I stir? I don't know, restart it. <clears throat> Clean hands. I should... Clean hands. Chop. Add to pot. Season. Chop. Add to pot. Chop. Add to pot. Stir twice. One. Two. And then you wait for it to boil, and it's one, two, one, five, three. Incense says, do not face west or your focaccia will not rise. Exactly. <clears throat> Cyclopean meatloaf. That smell. I can't resist this taste. What's happening to me? I feel strange. Hey, no worries, Colin. 
Hang out when you can. No big deal. The Ancient Ones will awaken soon, not long until reaching the end. Don't worry, the visions are not real. Your mind is just struggling with the incomprehensible. You will find your answers. Keep going, you are almost there. 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 Oh. Do not wear the mask or amulet. Do not light candles. I keep trying to hit escape, but it doesn't work. Turn them bitches off. Oh, look at me! Oh, yeah, you're turning uh, very squamous. <coughs> it's not this. Okay. No mask, no amulet, no candles. Cleanse hands, prepare two ingredients, add to pot. I got ten tackles. That's fine. You can just jump scare me. I'm not. Yeah, it happens so fast. <clears throat> Like, can you use the, um... I don't know. <clears throat> Two, add seasoning once. Seasoning once, stir the pot twice. One. Two. Repeat steps two, three, and four. So two more ingredients. Season and stir. Ooh, what's that? Before the pot boils, oh, five, one, two, three, four, six. Five, one, two, three, four, six. Three, what, six? Four, six. Yes! Non Euclidean stew. Slurp, slurp. Incoherent mumbling. Oh, hell yeah. Meanwhile, in another realm. Uh-oh. Hear me, Ancient One. That's not the correct form of hear. Uh, please show me the answer. What did those dreams mean? What is my purpose? Why do you have abs? Sexy Cthulhu. I prostrate myself <clears throat> before you today as your humble servant. Oh, Ancient One, bless us with your power. Screams of insanity filled the city as it burned. The sky warped as the geometry of this universe unraveled. Maybe this was my true purpose, to unknowingly bring forth the end of this world. Ha! 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 The end of this reality. <clears throat> hey, that was a cute little game. Also, a pretty cool mechanic of, like, you know... It's made with RPG Maker. That's interesting. Oh, that is really interesting, actually. <clears throat> okay. Um, we got time for about one more, maybe. Yeah, for sure. What is the difference here? Does it matter? Uh, I have no idea. we got here? Pumpkin Panic. Hey, why are you still in bed? You should be working on the farm. Get up. Come on. Oh, 
Finally, you're awake. You, you can do it, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, well, okay, finally, no time to waste. Let's get farming. Take these seeds, pick them up with F. I'll wait for you outside. You're right, Tirith. This is incredibly cute. Look at this. Yeah, I think this is one of the first games I picked because I knew I would love it. Yeah. Yeah, this is super cute. Me core. <laughs> you core. Oh, I've got a little lantern. Oh, you can unlock clothes? I oh, can't no. preview them. What if it was an itch.io game with microtransactions? You have a recycler. You have little patches to grow stuff on. Gotta unlock some of them. Crows down here. Here! You can plant seeds in the area up there by pressing F, then water them by pressing space. I've done it. If you need to refill water, you have a well down there. Hold F to refill your water. I've done it. What else, man? Do I just keep watering them? If you want to upgrade your tools or buy new resources, you can do it on the workbench at your home. It looks like you're just pissing all over them because you don't have arms. Uh -huh. The water's just kind of coming out from under your jacket. I guess... Oh, okay. Space to harvest. So what have you grown there? You can also use your lantern with R, but use it carefully. Or, or what, little dude? Anything down here past the well? I'll go check it. <clears throat> oh, to be a pumpkin person on their farm. What's that noise? I have to go, and you should hide. Try to sprint. That was the rake. Yeah, I was about to say, that was the rake. <laughs> Creepypastas, the rake. Are we good? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fucking what? Oh, man, okay. Interesting. Okay, shut up. I understand. Shut up, 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 shut up. Why can't we be friends with the horrible creature? Well, maybe he just wants a tasty pumpkin. Uh, 
the hell is that? I don't know. I think I can fix it. I just I need some equipment, I believe. Oh, I didn't get as many back this time. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't know what the lantern is for, but I guess that's what that oil over there by the water is. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's going to get dark or what. Shit, I had one more. Oh, 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 too late. You don't have a very long sprint. Yeah. That's what the problem was. So you can use your workbench while you're in here. I don't really feel like it would be intelligent to buy a new key just yet. I only have increased crop value. Increase player speed, increase refilling water speed, increase water capacity. I feel like any of these would be a worthwhile investment at the moment. I feel like the... Why did it just play the Amogus noise? The um, first two might be really beneficial. Oh, and I can get both of them right now, so yeah, that's probably the best bet. So I wonder how you get these keys for the costumes. Or these coins for the costumes, because I think it's a different kind of coin. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just earn them later. Like, I don't- how do I know when he's fucked off? I think it plays the music when he's in proximity to you. So I- I don't know. I guess you just have to be cautious. Like, if you don't hear him for a minute in the house, you can probably come back out. But if you do- if you move around and you do start to hear it, just run back again. Yeah, you got the Dopplering violins. <sighs> what movie did we watch yesterday? Ghost of Frankenstein? Ghost of Frankenstein. Ghost of Frankenstein. It was alright. Bella Lugosi was in it again. It was mm -hmm. pretty cool. But Boris wasn't. Yeah, Bor I guess that's where they, they switch, because Boris Karloff plays the monster in the first three Frankenstein films, but then uh, Lon Chaney takes over in the fourth film. I love Bella's character in Frankenstein. Yeah, he plays Igor, who is... You know, the... 
Yeah, he's not the Igor that you think, you know, because I guess that's been a, 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 a something that was changed after, where people were like, oh, Igor is Frankenstein's assistant, but, like, originally it looks like in, like, because he's only in the movies, he's not from the books, right? I believe that's the case. Uh, like, he's just this, this criminal who was hanged but didn't die. Well, I think, <laughs> didn't they hang him because he did work with Frankenstein? Well, the dude in the original was named Fritz. Yeah. And he hangs... Run, run, run. Oh, shit. But they changed a bunch of stuff in, in that... Ooh, I hit the wrong button. That's that, why I wasn't moving. In that third movie. Mm-hmm. His Frankenstein isn't even named Victor. He's named Henry for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? So I got more money this time. I'm gonna upgrade my boots. You think it's time to buy? To buy a key, yeah. yeah. I, I do think you should buy a key. Yeah, I'll just buy that. I heard the fucking... The sting. Yeah, I think he's gone. He leaves sticks every time he's here. How kind of him. Like, like a dog. Maybe that attracts it more. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how to replenish that oil. You either. buy it. Oh, okay. I don't particularly want to be out here in the dark. I think I'm gonna have to upgrade my seed bag to get enough seeds. What? I don't know. What was that noise? What noise? Okay. I've got enough to upgrade my seed bag. There was a noise. I don't know what that was. So I think I can hold more seeds now. And Put I your should... lantern away. Yo, what the fuck is that? Fucking ice cream truck out there? Yeah, um... Oh, that oil is expensive. Can we sleep? No. It's spooky at night. Mm-hmm. I don't even have any water. Better just wait. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, I guess I can't just wait. <laughs> I guess you gotta, like, run around. I don't know. You gonna quit? I think so. Yeah. Like, that's cute, but, like, I'm not good at having to move fast, like, escape fast with yeah. keyboard. Tirith is live, so. Oh. You can go, uh... Why is something trying to break down my door? I'm dead. <laughs> How do you raid? Forward slash raid. Raid. Space, then her name. Okay. It's dot JPEG now. All right. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out, everybody. And we will be back tomorrow. I'm going to play some... I might play some itch.io games. I might play some stuff on Steam. I can't decide yet, but I'm going to play some random horror stuff, just like Roadkill did tonight. But we're going to... Uh, 
go raid Tirith now, uh, who is also live. If you're not following Tirith, please follow her. Uh, but we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.